all the people in the world, all the people that claim that they're so nice, friendly and compassionate for, and then do hypocritical violent things, claim that they're being good, friendly, nice. All the people that say that I've been so nice and friendly, I pray for all the time. Say I be for the people that starve in our poor countries from poor nutrition. And then go to McDonald's and Burger King and all the other industries that have been responsible for the world hunger. People are wicked. The meat industry is the biggest cost of all the hunger in the world. They feed an extreme amount of food to all the animals in the meat, dairy and egg industry. The humans want to eat because they're in two-legged devils. They feed something like 50... 1 to 80% of all the greens on the whole planet to livestock so that the animals get fat the children start from starvation any two seconds our children start from starvation from human cause because humans eat animal products shame on you that's not what good people do good people oppose discrimination and hatred. Good people don't pay for the rape, torture and abuse of other living beings. Good people don't murder, torture and abuse. But people, the people that claim that to be nice, pray for all the time, go to choose, give to charity. All these people pay for this anytime that they go to eat a hamburger or eat a steak, or eat dairy products, milk, cheese, and eggs, and all the other animal products that do it any day time. Surprise! Mammal animals have to be pregnant to produce milk. So any year the cows be raped, so, and then the children be stolen away from them. Put the field, turning field, after five months. How will you feel if somebody takes your children away, rape you, turns you in a product? Say so that your life does not matter at all. It's not so funny, is it not? Humanity prays for mercy, but is not willing to extend it to others. Why then humanity is expect mercy from somebody else? It is unfair to ask for something that you don't be willing to give. It is inconsistent. I will never will accept inconsistency or injustice. Even if it comes from the so-called law. As Martin Luther King once of say, you don't can live with by your unjust laws and live by your unjust system because no cooperation with evil is as much so moral as his cooperations with good. The animals be hang upside down on the slaughterhouse floor, then some smack cut their throat and let them bleed for hours. Then it be put in small packages. And then be in the feet to all the all the meat, dairy, and egg eating zombie acting humans. The immoral majority. Judge always somebody. On the way that he judge his lower beings. 
The greatness of a nation and its moral process can be judged on the way its animals be treated. There is not such thing as humane rape, torture and abuse. Just like there is not something as inhumane slaughtering. There is not something as humane execution ex and inhumane insemin artificial insemination aka rape. There is not such thing as humane meat, dairy and eggs. That's one loophole. That's one oxymoron. Opposed discrimination and hatred for good. Speciesism is the first form of discrimination that being ever happened. That's the reason that all this happening. That's the reason that sexism happens. That's the reason that racism happening. That's the reason that ageism happens. That's the reason that it all happened. All the forms of discrimination have its root. And, this, this, and that is speciesism. The belief that humans be more important than all living beings, and the delusional belief that humans have the right to pick and choose and discrimine any species that is not human, that choose, that wants to choose. Without punishment. That's the root of all hatreds. Universal compassion is the only guarantee of morality. Peace begins on the dinner table. By what you eat on a daily basis. You don't get pray for peace and then do hypocritical confining things. That's not how it works. Good people oppose it. Good people don't support it. Good people stand up for what we write. Even if it costs the ridicule of others. It's better than to be false and curse your own neck horse. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice anywhere. Do to others just like you want that they are do to you. Live by the golden rule. Most atheists think that it would be a good way to live. So most Christians. You shall not kill. Don't kill other living beings. Particular if they don't have harmed you one time in their whole life. Can you get it? Go vegan. Vegetables eliminate great apathic narcissism. Being just kind instead to be cruel. That's the only thing that I ask you. Do to other living beings, and animals can qualify as other living beings, no matter how you look to it. If they can fly information, information if they can locate water to, to drink, if they can build a home, if they can use seaweed to drive on the water. All logical behavior. The last one I was from a from a beaver. The human being acting most of the time, not thinking. Going to McDonald's, the Burger King, eating ste steaks, hamburgers, and all that kind of things. This is not logical behavior. This happening because media, parents, friends, and the government told you to do this. 
If people be logical and aware, they don't killing the animals, the planet, and themselves. Not sure. If we have to be bring peace on this planet, it must to go to veganism. You don't deserve rights, but you don't mean willing to extend rights to other living beings. That's not what rights mean, that's injustice. Make a plea and move forward.